Okay, in this series of lectures on basics of databases and SQL Server, we want to understand how database is working. For this chapter 2, we are going to talk about the basics of a relational database. So these are the chapter guidelines for this series of lectures. So in general, the relational database is a series of tables. So it can consist of one table or it can consist of two or more tables in the database. So when there are many tables, one of the tables will be classified as the primary table and the other tables are classified as the child tables. The primary table will be the leader or some kind of a representative for the group of tables. And the primary table and the child tables are related by their primary key and the foreign key. In the primary table, the primary key is a unique identifier for each record in a table. So in this case of this table over here, the unique identifier is the student ID because each student ID for the each record is unique represented by the different student IDs 9901 to 9904. And some of the other columns are not suitable as primary keys uh, for the case of uh, let's say the column on the January is not suitable for the primary key because it actually is duplicated in the other column on the April so when there are actually duplicated entries in the columns in the tables they are not suitable for the primary key because primary key should be unique and in the child table the foreign key is a field that refers to the primary key in the primary table and the, in this case we have the primary table shown over here the average monthly body weight as well as the average monthly body height for the child table. The primary table and the child table are linked by a common uh, key. So in this case, the primary table, the primary key is the student ID. And for the case of the child table, the primary key will be known as the foreign key in the child table. Now let's talk about another concept on the database normalization. So in certain cases, the databases can be very large. So it is more efficient and more easily manageable to break the tables or databases into many smaller tables. This will help to reduce the duplicated information in the database. So let's take a look at this uh, database shown in this diagram over here there is a slight problem with this database can you spot the problem okay so the problem basically is that you have a case of duplicated information or data in the database uh, where the case of the record 9902 you have duplication of the name Bala, duplication of address Chua Chu Kang and the duplication of phone number. The only different thing in these three records are actually the favorite foods. The same thing occurs for the student ID 9903. The duplication occurs, only difference is the Mac price and Big Mac. So this duplication information waste storage space. 
There is a better way to represent the database shown earlier in a simpler format uh, what we call the database normalization we can actually improve the database design by simply breaking up the large database table into two smaller tables shown in this diagram over here so in this case we have two tables the table on the top where the student ID with three columns name address and phone as well as the second table with the same student ID as the secondary A or the foreign key and the column on favorite food so with this design we can actually minimize the duplicated data in the database we no longer have a duplicated name address and phones and we will also save storage space in the database because we do not need to save unnecessary extra duplicated data and we also will actually save on the data access speed if the database is smaller so we will talk about the types of relationships in relational database in general there are three types one to one one to many and many to many uh, example of a one-to-one -one relational database is shown over here where you have a case of a student ID as the key or the primary key for this table and each of the record in this database is uniquely identified by the student ID and also notice that there are no duplication of information in the database each information is unique so this is an example of a one-to-one -one relational database another example of a one-to-many relational database is shown earlier over here we have a database consisting of two tables and the two tables have a common key in this case the common key is the student ID so the common key between the two tables will actually link the two tables together so that the tables can be referenced between the primary and the child key child tables so notice again uh, in this normalized one-to-many relational database there is no duplication of information or minimized duplication of information the third kind of a relational database is known as the many-to-many -many relational database so in this type of a relational database you have a case shown over here where the central database table is the actually split into two smaller tables on the top and bottom so the top database table is actually sorted according to the student ID key and they have the information on the name address and phone numbers of the student whereas the second database table on the bottom shows the table sorted according to the class ID and it contains the information regarding the class advisor for the students so this type of the relational database is characterized by two or more primary keys So let's have a short quiz over here given this database please try to normalize the database which means you try to break this database into smaller tables and try to identify which field should be the primary key for this database and how many tables should it be broken up into.